This is Stephanie at Hightower Stitching. I want to say good afternoon to everybody, if it's afternoon where you are. Um, I wanted to share two things that I've been working on, and one's part of a project that I had already been doing, the one with the flying geese, and then another one that I did as a special favor for a friend. So here we go. Here's the one that we just did that was the two flying geese that you worked on, that I worked on. And I've got it completely finished and, and uh, trimmed and everything. But then if you remember, I already had these four blocks hooked together to show you. Well, then I just went on because I had cut four more out and I put them together. But guess what? I didn't do the small geese the same. And if I hadn't put these four together already, I would just mix the two different kinds of blocks. But here again, I did something. I had to come up with something. So I want to show you the alternative, which was made with the material that I have left. It's not finished yet. And here's the second set of blocks. And at first, when you look at it, can you see all the purple that's missing from between them? And it looks kind of dull. But the funny thing is, when it's not sitting next to the other one, and you get up close, you start really seeing the different parts. And I'm, I'm kind of excited about getting ready to quilt it. I've got it all pinned together. But I had to stop to do the next project which uh, for the person I was talking about. I have a friend in my hometown. And last year in December, they celebrated their 50th, 50th wedding anniversary. And she decided she they like to travel, and she'd like to have a quilt out of some of the T-shirts that um, they had saved over time. And so I gave her a goal of coming up with 25 shirts so I could have a nice 5x5. Five five. And this is a nice one. It lays across the top of the king-size bed. I think she's going to be really surprised when she sees this. And this is not a tutorial on doing t-shirt quilts because you can find those on the internet. But I just like to do the basic um, squares if, if it's possible. But every one that I've ever done wasn't just like this one. And this one, actually, my middle strips are, are only like 13 inches wide because they were smaller t-shirts. But I just wanted you to see what I've been working on. And I, when I get ready to start quilting, I actually quilt it on my sewing machine. And I'll come down here like Auburn is one of the, the blocks. And I'm even able to go in there and uh, write words and things. And got Auburn, we got Bulldogs, we got road trips to all different places. And I think she's going to be really surprised. I just wanted to share this with you. It was fun for me to make. It was quite a day today when I finished it. And I just wanted to share with somebody. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this or learned anything again or just had a good laugh, if uh, you'll subscribe, which doesn't cost you any money, and then hit like and leave comments if you like to. And read the comments because people are very kind and people are trying to figure out how to do things. And it's, it's really fun to read those.